watching sunrise meets my skin. Here with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, alcohol, and golden, 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 golden.
running for you. I'm gonna make myself a simple lunch. Got myself together a little bit, you know. I might film a vegan empties, but don't hold me to it because although well, the lighting's not terrible, it is so smoky out right now. Like I've shown you guys many times, like behind us, I can hear one right now, but I don't see it. <laughs> that, do you hear it? Where are you at? Uh, like the planes that fly behind us, like we're kind of right there. That's the flight path. One of the main ones here in Vegas. And I can't see them right now at all. Like uh, in the distance too, from our bedroom window, I can usually see the strip and parts of it. And I can't see it at all. Oh, there's one. It's, it's, it's uh, um, Southwest. And you can see just the teeniest little bit of blue and red. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess there's a few fires happening in California and it's like Southern Nevada and it's, it's making its way here. Yesterday was super, super windy, which was like good and bad, mostly bad, bad that it like, you know, makes it really hard to contain the fires, of course. But on the other hand, windy is good because then it keeps the air kind of a little more fresh, if you will. But today it is, it's a little breezy, but not really. So hopefully I can get some containment on them, but it's just, it looks really weird. And it's uh, 98 degrees right now, which is really actually cooler than it's been in weeks. And it's, I think because there's so much cloud cover, if you will. Anyway, it's just really eerie. I don't know though, I'm not, I'm not sure if I wanna film. Um, I don't know how well it'll turn out anyway. I made this dinner last night. Yes, I did. It took less than 10 minutes. I posted it over on my Instagram and uh, I'm gonna repeat it. Yes, I am, because why not? It's so simple. So here's the thing too, is I don't think I'm gonna try to not do a haul this week. And I'm gonna challenge myself to use up what we have. I mean, it, it shouldn't be that hard because Nate's not here too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the kiddo simple as well. We did stock up on a ton of impossible nuggets at Costco about a week or so ago. So we have a ton of those. I have pasta, I have rice, I have some veggies. I have a good amount of frozen veggies. I can do this, I can, but last night I threw this together. A little bit of greens, I have a three pack left. That should be okay. Mm. Um, of the romaine. I did this exact one to steam it up in the microwave. Super simple, easy. And then I have a little bit of this leftover, very little, this bruschetta I got at Vaughn's the other day. Um, we did, we oh, remember when I shared the, um, the uh, oh, I didn't take a picture, that's terrible. <laughs> but when I shared the last Misfits Market haul and I got that take and bake bread, that sourdough loaf, it was delicious. Yes, it was but I wanted like bruschetta on it. And that's exactly what we did. You know what else we did? I know this is such a weird combination. Don't knock until you try it. It was bomb. It's like pizza in one form. Like, so we got Italian and then I put the beefless bulgogi, no joke. I cooked it up, put the coconut aminos on it as I do, that glazes it and put that on there too. It's like two worlds colliding and it worked. It was so good. <laughs> but anyway, we made that. So I have some of this and put that on the bowl too onions here. Here's the thing. I'm going to link this recipe below for you guys because it's a keeper. It really is so good. However, because it's so good, I tend to overeat it. And for me, when I do that, I get the worst stomach ache. It's too much. It's so much vinegar and sugar and salt and just, it's not meant to be like eaten. I don't think like in abundance, <laughs> but I can't help it. It's really, really good though. But I love this on top too. And I'm gonna take the rest of my leftover bulgogi that I used, the beefless one from Trader Joe's. I'm completely out again. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, it is the best. Oh my goodness, I've shared this so many times. I'm gonna use a little bit of this that I have left. Yes, I am. And then, oh, I did the Good and Gather from Target uh, falafel on the one I made last night. And it's not great. I didn't even eat all of them. I did four, I only ate two. The, the, the outside crisped up well, I just did it in the air fryer, but like the in middle was like gooey, it wasn't it, wasn't it? Now, I do have those other ones to try that I got again from Misfits Market. One of you commented said it was a pass, it was a no. Why, who's calling? I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, so one of you said that that, what was it? The falafel, what is it? 
this one, the Fabulish one. Fabu yeah, Fabulish, the Zesty Zucchini said it was a pass for you. Sometimes, you know, I, again, I'm not a big falafel person. I told you guys this, I'm not. There's this one place called Hummus, it's literally called that, here in town, and I love it there. But it's deep fried, and it's delicious <laughs> and fresh, you know? Sometimes I feel like these frozen ones, hard to see in there, uh, they just miss the mark, they do. I'm gonna pass on this one for now, because this is enough for lunch, but I will try that soon. But yeah, I'm gonna challenge myself this week. You hear that's my kid up there. Something's funny. But <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put this together real quick. Super, super simple. But I wanted to share a couple things with you guys. One, if you notice my nails, do you see them? I love this color, I do. So, do you guys remember, let me grab these. I don't think you can see. Oh yeah, you can, because I did it last night. The I got this, I'll link this below too. It was cheap from what I remember. I've had it for like years now, but the little LED light for like gel nails, uh, it's it works great. But do you guys remember, it was probably like two years ago, I got some of these Nail Addict, it confuses me because they changed names, but I think mine still says this one for my older ones, I think. Anyway, um, a couple years ago and I got stocked up on a bunch of colors and these are awesome. They're so good and they're vegan too. And the color selection that they have is so good and they sent me some more and I did this one. I did Moonlit Glow, and it's like this pretty little glittery, kind of nudish color. I love it. Kind of like this one, too. It's got some sparkles in it. Um, Golden Crown. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna do my tootsies. I'm gonna do my toes. And I'm gonna do Pearl Beads, I think. This pretty, like, I think that's a pretty color for summer. Got a pretty navy one here. Aqualicious, I mean, really. Um, anyone but you, it's pretty nude. Yeah, you could, I love the, the packaging of them because I have them all lined up, the ones that I have, and they're so easy to see what color they are based on that top there, you know? I really, really like these. All you do is when you do purchase them, just make sure that you get to get you going anyway. You get the uh, the base, that's what it's called, the base. It's just a clear coat basically, and then the top. This These two you do need, all you do, is you take the base, put a little layer, cook it. 30 seconds under the LED light, that is it. Take your color of choice. I only did one layer. This isn't even two layers of it. Put that on there, cook it, 30 seconds, done. Put the top, 30 seconds, done. Rub a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad when you're all done and go over it and it's gonna feel so wrong because you're gonna feel like, oh, I'm gonna screw it all up. It's not dry all the way. No, it's fine. <laughs> And, uh, but every time I'm like, mm, and, and it's always good. But uh, do that over them because it might be a little tacky, but it's still dry. And then that takes it away and makes it completely smooth. And that is it. It took me all of eight minutes. Yes. I'm going to do my toes, but I just thought I'd share that with you. It's cool because they're vegan too. They're affordable. I'll, again, I'll link them below. Lots of colors. Go nuts. Have fun. But uh, again, I will link the LED light that I use. It works great. I did it myself. And they're just like the soak off kind. But if you're like me, you can do that. But after a couple weeks, you just kind of pick and peel and you know, you know. <laughs> that's what I do. Anyway, one other thing I wanted to share with you guys too that got sent my way. I think this is so cool. Uh, my cousin's coming into town later this week, which is cool because then it's one less day I'm alone. But I'm gonna pick him up, but it made me think of him because I always mention too, he's the one from Colorado and he loves oat milk. He loves it. And I th I'm thinking of him. I think he will like this. He travels quite a bit and I think this would be good for him to have on hand his coffees, you know? But do you guys remember Joy? I, that's what I call it, Joy. J-O-I, just one ingredient is what it stands for. When they first launched, it was that they had like this almond base, basically like an almond nut butter, but it was really, really smooth, really smooth. And the idea behind it is that you take this base, add a, however much to water, blend it, and you've made your own almond milk. It was delicious, it was. Then they came out with an oat base, especially when that really took off of oat milks being like a thing. And I haven't tried that one, I don't think, but I love the almond one. I'm an almond milk fan, but I, I love oat milk too, but I, I like all of them, I guess. And it was really cool because it was just one ingredient and it was just almonds and it was just oats, whatever, you know, you're using and now they launched these oat milk creamers 
and oat milk powder. And so the idea behind it, but they're like little sticks, like kind of like the liquid IVs is what it reminds me of, um, on the go. I'm thinking of him, but they're really, really good, my friends. They are, I've tried them now. Um, but the oat milk creamer, it's funny because these are like, this is the, the creamer one is technically a lightly sweetened version um, and it's 58 calories for the packet. Yep, 58, not 60, 58. And then the uh, oat milk powder here, which is like not sweetened and it's literally just oats in it, is 51 calories for one pack. 51, not 50. <laughs> but uh it's cool this is literally organic oats that's all it is and it's so finely done I put it in my coffee even though like the creamer one probably makes more sense i just did this one and it's so finely milled that it's so smooth it's very very creamy it's really really good but yeah you can put this in your coffee you can mix it with water on the go and you've got instant oat milk it's really, really cool. And then in the sweetened one, it's just oats, avocado oil, soluble tapioca fiber, MCT oil, cane sugar, and calcium carbonate pectin fiber. That is it. And it's really, really good too. It's, it's a little bit creamier, it like, like a creamer, of course, um, that I think people would enjoy in their coffees for sure. But I'm going to save these for my cousin when he comes in a few days and he'll be all set. But yeah, you just stir these into your coffee as well. Pretty cool. I thought that was a cool launch that they just did. So I thought I would share that with you as well. And I will link those below if you want to check them out too. I think that's it. We've got bruschetta. We've got bulgogi. We've got greens. We've got nail polish. We've got oats. And we have falafel we threw to the side. And we have pickled onions that we don't want to overdo. We are living the dream. <laughs> so simple, but so delicious. Right? We can do this. We can do this for the week. We can. <laughs> I'm excited about it. It smells delicious. <sighs> Let's eat. Let's do a little taste test. I actually, when I was putting this together, I got a text from my cousin. Okay, he's coming into town for a layover to get to California for work. And then he's coming back on Friday to hang out here for about a week and uh, then head back home to Colorado Springs but he just texts me that he is still in Colorado Springs trying to get here to go to California and they canceled the connection already because of the, the smoke. It's really, it's really smoky. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's so good. Mm. I put some hemp seeds on it too. Mm -hmm. So good. This has been my kick. I've mentioned it so many times recently, but this is like my go-to meal for lunch or dinner. And it's super filling too. <laughs> Did I put too many of the onions? I may have. We'll see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, tomorrow, You know I get all bummed when Nate's not here. Don't like it, but he's having fun and that's good. But tomorrow's one of our really good friend's birthdays. She is going to a resort here. She lives here, but for a couple days, just a little staycation. And uh, her husband booked her like a spa day at this place. And uh, they were in cahoots. <laughs> And uh, Nate booked me right there with her. So just, you know, raise my spirits. But no, I mean, I'm, I'm really actually looking forward to it a lot because I have not had a massage in a while. And uh, I would love one. So that is going down tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And the kiddo will get to go to the pool and stuff and just hang out. Although I really hope it, like... clears up some overnight at least because you don't really want to be out in this right now but we'll have fun whatever we end up doing but that's the plan so thanks Nate <laughs> it'll be fun be cool anyway I'm gonna go eat okay so I've come up with the idea for dinner tonight I'm gonna take my last impossible patty yes I am Still looking for these at Costco, my friends. Mine has been out for months and months, but some, I guess, do still have it, so keep your eye out because they're the best deal there. I'm gonna take my last patty here, 
and I'm gonna ground it all up and then I'm gonna add taco seasoning to it. And then I have, I think, four of these, which is perfect. Have you seen these? They're tiny little like street taco size, um, but the Mission Tortillas, the zero net carb ones, there's like different flavors of them. This is the sun-dried tomato. It's delicious. It's so good. There is also like a chipotle one. There's a plain one. There's some other flavors too. They're really, really good. Anyway, I'm going to take these. Um, one of them is 25 calories and again, zero net carbs. Two grams of protein per tortilla as well. Seven grams of fiber per protein. These are no joke. My goodness. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to finish those up too. I'm going to put them in here. And what I'm going to, oh, they smell so good. You can even like see the little bits in there of the sun-dried tomato flavoring. I'm gonna take this. And a lot of you told me too that it uh, tastes better like melted down and I agree. I tried it completely on its own like this cold and it's good, it totally is. I wouldn't call it spicy at all. I mentioned this when I shared it originally, but it, it tastes like cheese shreds actually flavored with taco seasoning. But when you do heat it up, it, it has even like more flavor, it does. So I'm gonna just do like this. And then we'll like put that on like a low heat just to like warm up the tortillas and kind of melt down the cheese a bit. All right, I'm into that. My kiddo just had his impossible nuggets and some pancakes, as you do. And then I have some uh, shredded up cabbage still. I'm gonna put that on top. Also from Trader Joe's, this right here, my friends, these are so delicious. Get your hands on these, top it with that too. And I think that's it. <laughs> and you know what? Feel good about it. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna actually turn it on now, but I'm gonna go really, really low and slow. Low and slow. I'm sorry if you hear all the noise in the background. I got laundry going, doing all the things. I will also finish up this spicy taco sauce from Trader Joe's. I gotta get more, this stuff is amazing. It's my glorified Taco Bell sauce. <laughs> What can I do for you, huh? What? <laughs> I'm just trying to edit. You know, that's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> well, so I just landed here in San Francisco and it got to the hotel back there. And uh, across the street, believe it or not, is literally the water <laughs> and the airport that's what i looked like about an hour ago coming in right there but uh but yeah in san francisco i uh, had a little bit of time so i wanted to come across the street say hi to everybody and uh and yeah it's gonna gonna be kind of cool starting today I'm gonna go take a look at uh some few things here in amador county some wineries tonight um and yeah have a good time trying to bring you guys along a little bit uh i am technically working from like sun up to sundown and uh 
and stuff. So I don't know how much I'll be able to like video with me, but who wants to see me when we're going to beautiful places in the world? So uh, yeah, decided to bring you guys along here with me. Not the one to necessarily enjoy being away from home, but if you gotta do it, why not do it here? So we're here at the Con Canyon uh, Winery or Con Canyon Vineyard um, here close in Livermore County and uh and really just kind of enjoying a great afternoon uh and i just wanted to show this thing right here yeah i'm having a diet coke i i, I know but uh this right here uh is a fantastic story about cabernet this vine this specific vine right here um actually was the traditional vine that was sourced for uh 60 to 70 years ago that all Cabernet, not all, but almost 70 to 80% of all Cabernet in California is actually a clone from this vine right here. And I'm standing next to it. And that's crazy. Um, so this little vine, who's very big and old and lovely, uh, is actually one of the primary reasons why we have fantastic Cabernet all through Napa. Sonoma and uh, California. So I got to see it in person. Uh, nerdy wine stuff. <laughs> 